I have uh, handled some matters similar to this in which the defendant was incarcerated and was not to come to court for good and sufficient reasons. In one case, it was an individual who had stabbed a previous lawyer in the courtroom with a pencil. So it was, we thought probably just as well, although my case was different, that he should stay in the state's prison where there was video. It's very, very difficult to conduct a proceeding where uh, the person isn't in front of you. It's kind of like washing your hands with gloves on. I mean, it can be done, but you don't get a very satisfactory result. 